Hey, what a fucking dope song. I might mean, not that it's about dope or weed or anything like that. I just got a really fat groove to it and really fucking catchy. Yep. What the fuck is that? What's going on friends? Logan Myers here for Cinefellows.com. Really excited to talk about the next movie, one of the movies I've been really anticipating and really looking forward to this year. Uh, there's huge buzz around Jordan Peele with his first film, Get Out. It did excellent. He won an Oscar for that film. Uh, just a really great you know, genre film. He's bringing horror genre back to the mainstream. This time around, we're talking about his sophomore follow-up film, Us. So Us is directed, produced, and written by Jordan Peele. And this time around, we have a family of four. They're going on vacation. Uh, they're up in Northern California, relaxing, having a nice little getaway. Uh, the dad is played by Winston Duke from Black Panther. Then we have the wife, Adelaide, played by Lupita Nyong'o. <coughs> Lupita Nyong'o? <coughs> Lupita Nyong'o? <coughs> Lupita Nyong'o. So they're up in this cabin, and they're relaxing, and this family of four shows up in their driveway and this family looks exactly like them. It's like they're doppelgangers. So early on in the film, we, we find out that, you know, there's this tragic event with Adelaide's character when she's a young child. Fast forwards, you know, her to her adulthood with her family. And that's when things start getting really fucking weird. Compared to Jordan Peele's Get Out, I think Us is more a, you know, like a horror film compared to like a thriller. Has more of the horror movie aspects in this film. Really building this atmosphere. It's frightening, it's terrifying, it keeps you on the edge of your seat at points of the film. And it's really interesting to see, you know, this story and seeing how these doppelgangers, and if they're real or not, it's like a straight up home invasion film. And I will say, you know, with these actors playing their bad selves, these doppelgangers, I think they really did an excellent job. You know, Winston Duke and Lupita Nyong'o and the kids did an excellent job playing the evil or the bad sides of themselves, you know, and it shows as an actor that you can really go to a dark place to come up with these characters and you can kind of go back and forth and uh, you know the performances were really excellent I love the chemistry of this family early on in the first two acts of the film they have a lot of shots of Santa Cruz which I hold dear to my heart uh, that's where they filmed the Lost Boys one of my favorite movies of all time and myself and Henry took a road trip from Las Vegas up to Santa Cruz California about four or five years ago just had an absolute blast we're on the road for like a week straight to make it up there and just visiting all these you know iconic places from Lost Boys and now in Us you know there's a scene that from the trailer in Us you see them at the beach and the kids and stuff like that and that's where they filmed the Lost Boys and where me and Henry were standing so it was really cool to see that on the big screen and the way that uh, you know Jordan Peele uses the camera to its advantage the way he does he's like over the top shots and the way he pans out it's just really well done. There's a lot of great colors in this with using the beach and then the after hours of the boardwalk and really symbolic for the meaning of this movie between light and dark or good versus evil. You know, Lupita Nyong'o is an absolutely fantastic actress. She's won an Oscar. She was in Black Panther, Winston Duke. Really, really phenomenal. And I thought she was kind of sidelined in other films she's been in, but she really proves that she can be the lead and be a main actress in the movie and carry that film. And, uh, you know, Us is a perfect example of this with with her husband and family and coming across these clones or doppelgangers, she has to do what's best and protect her family. And I'm not really gonna go into much spoilers throughout this review, just kind of the main bullet points here. But what I also love about us, I'm at the writing in this film is phenomenal. Uh, just the storyline, you know, early shots, kind of foreshadowing what's gonna happen in the film. Just the storyline with these characters and how it all changes at the end of the movie. You know, honestly, from being in the audience last night, um, I didn't guess what would happen at the end. And you know, Jordan Peele is such a phenomenal writer and director, and he's really proven himself time and time again that he's here to stay, and he's and hopefully he's gonna keep making horror movies. And he's one of the few that's really making horror films and having the mainstream pay attention to the horror genre, and especially the Academy. You know, films like this, they need to be recognized in the big awards, and these people and these directors and writers, actors, really just care about the craft and care about the art form and really wanna make a good film. And leading up until the end, there's a lot of frightening parts 
sequences that keep you on the edge of your seat, you know, not realizing or not knowing what's going to happen to this family. Will they survive? And what's the deal with all these doppelgangers? And at the end of the film, they really dive into that. And there's a total huge, awesome twist at the end that I did not see coming, but it really dives more into what these clones are, what they're about, why they're there. And it has to do with the beginning of the film with Adelaide's character as a child. And it's really fantastic. And this is a thematic film. There's a lot of themes here. There's a lot of messages. And what I really took out of it as a fan of film and movies, um, you know, we're our own worst enemy, right? We're really hard on ourselves. You know, there's aspects, things in our past uh, that we try to bury. We're not too proud of it, but you know, at the end of the day, you gotta overcome that, become a better person. And you know, just be good to yourself. Um, don't be so hard on yourself. Another message I think Jordan Peele's trying to get across is, you know, the U.S. and the current uh, state of the, the U.S. and the different social classes and things like that. You know, and the rich get richer and the poor just keep trying to survive. And there's just a lot of great messages here. And that's what I absolutely love about Jordan Peele. He's known for comedy, but, you know, with his second film, it's not a sophomore slump. And I actually think I prefer Us over Get Out. I like it a little more. Script, the story, the cinematography, and I absolutely love the score of this movie. You know, I really built this atmosphere and this great story. And I'm really hoping he does more films in the horror genre. This is a film that you must see in the theater. Um, definitely support this movie, support Jordan Peele. He's a great dude, great filmmaker, and he knows how to make an overall great film. So overall, I'm going to give Jordan Peele's follow-up and second film, Us, a four out of five doppelganger hair pieces. <laughs> so if you guys did get a chance to go see this, what did you like about Us? What didn't you like about it? What is the overall theme or message that you got out of this film? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to hit subscribe. This is Logan Myers signing out from one of my favorite places in the entire world, Santa Cruz, California. Where's the saxophone man at, huh? Until the next movie review. Cheers!